Hey there guys, Neil here back with an Android app review. So in my regular search to find apps that um, not only follow the Android material um, design UI guidelines and colors and all of that, I also look for apps that are low on battery usage and that sort of thing. So um, I was using the Instagram app lately and or recently and I was thinking that the icon does not really fit in with um, the rest of my icons. The UI is not that great so it kind of has that old um, it kind of has the um, squared off flat look and feel and all that but for some it basically didn't fit because I'm used to the menu bars on the top left to um, open up the my menus and uh, features and all of that so I got to searching Google Play to see find an app that does that and mm -hmm. I found imagine for Instagram there's a free and pro version so for the most part the free version has what you need but if you want a couple of things that are not part of it then you can definitely um, upgrade to get that so I will jump right into it so um, imagine for Instagram is this blue icon that you see here I have the free version still um, basically when you open it you'll have your traditional um, you'll have your Instagram news feed so scrolling through is familiar but two things of note that you'll see that are immediately different is you'll have the plus icon on the bottom right kind of like how you have in Google Plus so you can take a new photo or a new video or pick a photo or video from your gallery to post the Thing, or the caveat here is that you will need Instagram still installed on your device so um, you can't exactly uninstall it just yet but uh, for me I haven't had really any battery drain issues or anything like that with Instagram but the first thing I did when I installed Imagine for Instagram was I used Greenify for battery management and background app management so I put Instagram there and also turned off all of Instagram's notifications so that I don't really get confused and I don't I'm not switching between the two apps. Um, so that's the first thing. Not too much to say there. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory what you can do there. Once you start posting an image or a video, you can add your captions, hashtags, and all of that. But the other thing you have is your um, over your um, main menu. So touching the three bars at the top left of the app will open up your feed. You can. Um, see you can add multiple accounts which of course recently in Instagram you can now do that there as well um, you can open up your profile so I, ha I can see the pictures that I um, posted um, or see all the pictures that I've posted if um, I want to go to a specific one I can for example open this one that I took from the Super Bowl um, and get all that um, hitting the back will obviously take you to the previous screen um, the thing that I actually found out that's recently broken in the app, which is kind of a bummer, is activity feed. Um, there was a recent API change from my understanding, so this doesn't exactly work, but um, if you want to see comments and likes and things on pictures that you've taken recently, you can just go to your profile and um, see what the new, uh, or see any new comments and likes and things there. Um, you can also see the pictures that you like. So um, as you're going through your news feed, you can see everything there as well. You can see what's hot. So uh, whatever area you're in, you can get the get updated um, uh, pictures that have been and videos that have been posted to um, Instagram in your area. And then you have your um, settings menu. So double tap to like. I have full width card set up. So. If you want a whiteboard around it, then turn it off. If you don't, then there's that. Um, you can also enable or disable um, notifications, and it gives you the warning to um, disable the official Instagram um, notification, so I can turn it off here as well if I want. I have it off in general because I don't really need it there. Um, but that's really all there is for the app. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so now if you're wondering why you'd want to install this over the official Instagram app or you say I don't really care about material design then there is a couple of features that may help it stand out um, so the first thing is the sh full share menu so on the in official Instagram mm -hmm. app when you want to share a let's say I want to share the Star Wars picture then you have to hit the dots and then copy the share URL so now you can go to other apps and share there mm -hmm. but with imagine 
so I want to share this Star Wars picture. I can open. I just, just have to share <coughs> um, uh, dots, and I can now. I have my. I now have my full Android share menu. The so with whatever apps are installed on your device that you can share to, you can now do that. So you don't have to go into the other app to share it. You can do it straight from Imagine for Instagram. The other feature that's actually cool is that let's say you like a picture and you want to set it as your wallpaper or you want to um, just make it your Facebook uh, banner or you want to just have it make it your, let's say, your laptop or desktop wallpaper, you can download the image so you have the down arrow and what will happen is it'll save it to your gallery so you can now see that the image download is completed and it's in your gallery so um, pretty straightforward there and you can set it as your wallpaper or do whatever you want um, the final feature that is actually part of the pro version of imagine for Instagram is the ability to share um, things on Instagram to your Instagram feed so kind of like uh, retweeting on Twitter you can uh, re I guess regram on Instagram um, you get, I believe, three for free on the free version of Imagine. But if you want to unlock unlimited share reshares, then you have to buy the pro version. Uh, the pro version also removes ads from the app, so that's the final piece of the puzzle there. But uh, let's say you find that you do want to share um, um, it's stuff from your Instagram feed back to Instagram, and you don't want to have to go through the um, process of, th let's say, taking a screenshot, maybe even cropping the picture to... Um, fit it to your to make it fit properly on instagram or go find the picture somewhere else and then share it then the reshare works as well so um basically the in imagine for instagram at not only allows you access to what instagram already does but add and add uh, material design but it adds a couple of cool features as well for me the share button is probably the best thing i do like having that in every app i use where i can share stuff so i can easily let's say if i there's a uh, post on Instagram that I like I can email it text it whatsapp it Facebook Twitter whatever it makes it that much easier to share it and I don't have to go through the process of copying the share URL and then going through the process of going to another app and then copying and pasting that URL and then adding my own comments I can share it to the other app and add whatever I want and be done with it uh, so that's really all there is for that. So um, it is available in Google Play. It's Imagine for Instagram, um, available for free and via a pro version. So definitely worth checking out. So I mean, the only downside in all of this is that the activity feed's not quite working at the moment. Um, there is actually also a beta community. So if you want to be on the latest and greatest features for the app, then there's that as well. But um, overall, the app is definitely worth checking out. Um, I didn't really do too much as far as searching, but that's pretty standard. It matches what Instagram already does, so there's that as well. So that is really all there is for that, and that's Imagine for Instagram, available in Google Play. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and something that I may you feel I may have missed or you're, that's not quite clear, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com, or you can tweet me um, at pateln01. But that is all for this review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.